In this video, we're going to look at using filters to find articles. If you haven't already watched the first video, I highly recommend that you do. And since I'm working on the presumption that you have, I want you to know that this video will run a little bit longer, but trust me, it will be to your benefit to watch this video in its entirety. And I also want you to still be thinking about how this page looks very similar to a Kijiji search results page. So we've got the broad search results and then all the ways that we can filter on the left hand side. Chances are likely that at some point, at least one of your instructors will require you to find an article that is academic, scholarly, peer reviewed. The easiest way to find an article that fits this criteria is to select this filter here. And you can see that that carved off quite a bit of results. Remember, you can also do things like change the publication date. So if you don't want to be using something historical, you could either type in a new year or you can use this scroller to scroll over to a date that satisfies the requirements that your instructor has let you know about. We still have quite a bit of results. And as you can see, there's a few here on the first page that we can't actually access right away. But if you did want to use this article, you could always request this item through an interlibrary loan. You'd be brought to this page where you would log in using your barcode on the back of your student ID card and then the PIN number, which is the last four digits. You'll be brought to a page where all the information is preloaded and you would just submit that. The turnaround time for interlibrary loan article requests is incredibly quick. But if you only want to see records of articles that you can access right away, you can also select limit to full text. Even with these limiters applied, you can see that there's still quite a few records. Think back to the first video where we looked at these records. Remember that you want to be reading the title and then read and consider all this need to know information, including and especially the subjects. Remember how important the subjects are. Each record is tagged with subjects, which are keywords or phrases that capture the core concepts of the piece of information this record represents. A nice way to drill down into your research is to use the subject limiter. If you select this link, you can see that there's a little list that appears here. But if you select show more, there's a more extensive list that appears. What's helpful about this list is that it can identify for you the key concepts that you could explore further, or perhaps give you the technical language that you're looking for, or even research ideas. For instance, for instance, maybe I hadn't thought of the aspect of mental health and poverty, how one might impact the other. Now that I'm curious about this, I can select this subject, update the results, and now I'm looking at records for academic articles, academic scholarly peer-reviewed articles, that I can access immediately that have the subjects of poverty and mental health addressed. I can continue drilling down using the subject field. For instance, I could limit to just females if that's what I was interested in or perhaps just males. And some other ways that you can drill down is limit by language. As you can see, there are some articles in here from other countries. You can also limit by geography. This depends on what it is that you're interested in exploring specifically, but this can help, especially if you're looking for items from a certain Western group or somewhere else specifically, like Canada, for instance. Other ways that you could filter are by publication or by databases. 
Now, just so you're aware, you don't have to apply the filters in the order that you saw here. Do them in a way that makes sense for you and your needs. Just ensure that you're not cherry picking whatever looks good in the hopes that it will help you. You need to read the need to know information. Read the subject. Hover over the magnifying glass and read the abstract or summary of the article. Is this the information that you're looking for? The thing about research is that very rarely will you get exactly what you need the first time. You will probably have to go back and forth a few times. You can use different keywords as you explore and as you learn some of the technical language that's used. You can apply these lim the subject limiters. You can also remove them as well if you want to go back. I hope that you found this video helpful. Remember, this was meant to be a short and basic guide to finding articles using the library website, and there is still a lot to learn. If you have any difficulties while searching, you can use our live chat feature, which is available during our business hours, or you can also reach us in other ways, like phone or through email. You could even text us if you'd prefer. And of course, you can always come and see us in person. Thank you for watching.